everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Well, it's been a hot minute since I recorded a video, so hopefully this will go smoothly. Today's card project is this one. Yeah, a lot of little squares going on on this card. I call this the Acetate Patchwork Card. Um, and I did not cut out all those little squares and glue them all down individually. I'm going to show you the technique that gets this done fairly quickly. Um, this is a technique by a fellow maker from close to my heart. I believe she's in Australia. Her name is Laura Beecham. I think that's how she says her name. Um, and I will have the link in the description of the video down below. She does a real nice tutorial showing how to do this technique. Um, other supplies, I went through and found some pattern papers and cut half inch by three inch strips. So I have nine different patterns. I find that nine patterns gives you a very nice, um, a nice selection. Um, I will show you what happens if you use fewer patterns. You and I ended up with this, and, and it's a cute card. I like it. It's certainly worthy of sending to someone. But it wasn't as happy with how this pattern ended up laying out. I prefer this one much better. The stamp set that I'm using today is called Sending Paper Hugs. It was part of a special a couple of months ago. I have a card base made from some cardstock that was gifted to me. A piece of raspberry cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half because that covers the whole front, and then a piece of black cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter, and then a piece of white daisy cardstock that measures three and three quarter by five. No. Yes, three and three quarter by five and a quarter. Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to keep track. Got my sentiment mounted. I have some raspberry ink. And I have a piece of some acetate. You can use any acetate. You can also use cardstock, white, black, whatever. It'll work with any of that. Acetate is just um, what Laura used, and it does add a little bit of some, just a hint of glimmer in there. Um, this is this was some acetate that close to my heart sold, or maybe still sells. That was for the motion style, so you you have your image stamped and it, it's sort of lined, and then you move this, and it makes it look like the image is moving. I was really lousy at doing those. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was. And so this has been camping out in my stash, and we're gonna use it up. This is three by 12 inches. Um, so I'm just gonna start adhering these to make sure I only have one here. It feels thick. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little adhesive on the back of the strip. Put the adhesive on the strip. And I'm just going to start laying it on here. I'm not going to make you watch me do this whole thing, but we'll get started together. And I'm not butting it right up next to it. I'm leaving just a hint of a space in between. So you can see like that, there's just a tiny little gap in there. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is that I, I ended up, I've been going through things and dealing with um, closets and cupboards and things, and I found some refills that I don't have the dispenser for. So what I've been doing with this it's a little more putsy, but it uses this up. Adhesive is expensive. So I'm just putting it on there and taking my scissors and cutting it off and peeling that backer off and it will adhere down just fine. So that's a, a little tip and trick to using up some of those refills that you maybe don't have the cartridges for anymore. So I think I will just add a little music so you don't have to watch me do all of this.
here are all of my little pieces glued onto that piece of acetate. There is a little bit hanging off and I am going to give a little trim to anything that's hanging off the edges. Pretty good. And I'm finishing up my trimming. Okay. So because these are a half of an inch wide, we want to cut them at a half of an inch, and I'm going to do that at my trimmer. Okay, so I have them all cut. Um, I use a guillotine trimmer. I find that the guillotine works better, but at the end I need to switch to my blade trimmer, and that's how it is. Use whatever works best for you. We're going to take this piece of white acetate, or actually white daisy cardstock, and I am going to just lay a bunch of adhesive on here as close as I can. And if you have sticky sheets or something along those lines that you can add the adhesive on, I think I probably have some somewhere. Not sure where. But you can also see where I I spent some time um, making sure that I had my, my white background paper spread out a little bit. Here I ended up with the two same patterns, different colors together, but I think it'll work out okay. Um, I tried to keep the colors separated a little bit. That was just my personal preference. You can do whatever floats your boat. And I'm going in a diagonal. And I am going to flip it over and trim this off. Just like that. That got me started and I'm going to keep going with this paper. And you don't have to butt them up exactly next to each other. You can leave a little hint of the white. see how it's going here. Um, here's where I'm trimming them off and then we will use the rest of these cutoffs to finish up the panel. And I like to get going with that first piece, use most of it up, and then start adding the other strips because then I know for sure I end up with enough long pieces to finish the panel. So here we are. And I do, I am kind of shifting around a little bit just to make sure the colors are moving back and forth. And that my patterns are varied a little bit. You don't have to do that. I just like to do it that way. Mm, ooh, this orange. Yes, that will look nice there. You can save all of these pieces and you can use them to cover other pieces of paper to do other shapes, maybe tags, something like that might look cute. And there that is that panel. You can put it Whichever way you want. I think I need to stick something there. No, 
going to be fine. It will be just fine. We're going to start putting our layers together. So, my pretty color panel goes on to the black. And then black goes on to the pink. Raspberry. Sorry. Raspberry. This covers up the whole panel of the front of the card. And this is a, just a side opening. In fact, I'm going to do this. Let's get that bottom lined up. Okay. Now we're going to do a little stamping with the raspberry ink. You could also use the black. I think black ink would look nice, but... Once in a while, a little pop of color is just what you need. <clears throat> when my stamp is looking like it's not stamp uh, inking up real nice, I like to do some practice runs. And sometimes it just takes a couple of times to season your stamp. And you can see as I get going here, well, I'm stamping on things, but I think it's doing better. It looks better through the stamping block. And there we go. I'm also going to take black pen and just do a little bit of a sketchy line along here. And with this glue gel, we're going to close that up before disaster strikes. Yeesh. Got the stuff flying all over the place. in the middle. Ooh, is that crooked? And this guy. Just like that. There we go. See here what a difference the different colors make in the flavor of the card. This one I would consider a little more masculine. This a little more feminine, but you can do whatever you want. And that's it. That's this cute little acetate patchwork card. Once you get these acetate strips down, it really goes fast. I hope you'll give this technique a try. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed crafty day and thank you for watching.